Good day, Sir Blasphemy here for Sir Blasphemy's Travels. All right, I bring to you guys another adventure. I'm dressed up in the Sir Blasphemy gear, so I must be at a Renaissance Festival. That must be the case, and that is correct. I am at the Arizona Renaissance Festival 2024, so I'm about to go in, and uh, we're going to check it out, get some sights and sounds, and... Uh, Again, here's the only Renaissance Festival that I have to pay to get into. Bummer. <laughs> I'm not a vendor here. I've tried, though. I can't get into this fair for whatever reason, so uh, maybe we'll talk about that later. But uh, they, they won't let CB Dragon Sweet Shop into this fair for whatever reason, even though they got plenty of room. So anyway, let's go in. Let's enjoy the day. Let's check out some of the sights and sounds of the Arizona Renaissance Festival. All here right, we go. Guys, so I'm out here, and I walked up to get go inside but the lines are ridiculous so is this what it's like i mean i, I don't know because i vend is this what it's always like in the mornings like it takes about 30 45 minutes to get inside the renaissance festival if that's the case wow oh, <clears throat> excuse me but yeah so i tried to walk up there and so i'm just kind of letting the line die down and while i'm out here i'll show you the beautiful sights of the superstition mountains and if you guys don't know much about the superstition mountains you gotta look that up. People go into those mountain, that mountain range right there. They look for the Dutchman's mine that no one's ever found. But they usually go in there, and there's a lot of people that have never come back out of those uh, those mountains right there. So that is the Superstition Mountains. Look them up. It's kind of a trip. But yeah, so we'll go inside here in just a minute, bring you some sights and sounds. But I wanted to update you guys on something. Almost forgot. So guys, for those of you in Austin or Houston, even or even Dallas. I was accepted into the Sherwood Forest Fair. I will not be there this season though because they just notified me and I just didn't have enough time for it this season, but I'll be there in 2025, guys. So I will be at the Sherwood Forest Fair in 2025 season. So uh, looking forward to that. But uh, anyway, we need to get this fair to accept me in. And so we need you guys, man, to communicate. I, I, you guys could do me a big solid email these guys call these guys whatever the case may be let them know that you want sir blasphemy and cb dragon sweet shop selling his chocolate bars at this renaissance festival it's the home fair so yeah it never fails whenever you're doing a video somebody's always walking in front of it or cut you off in the middle of the video so sorry guys but anyway we'll talk more about that later let's go inside <laughs> Let's walk around, show you some of the sights, check it out. Here we go. The only fair I can't get into. Just saw the washing well winches for a minute, said hello to them. I'm gonna check to see if some of my uh, vendors are here, my vendor friends, we'll see. Try to get you guys the whole fair today. It ain't like TRF. I should be able to get you everything. Let's see. Bought some of this last year. Bought some of your stuff last year, man. It was fantastic. That's really good sauce over there. They have real good sauce. You guys want to check them out? Come to Arizona Renaissance Festival. I bought some of this stuff. Some of it will light you on fire. Some of it goes down smooth. Good day, my lady. I think I showed you guys this last year. It's an incense place. Horse head. <laughs> you too, stay safe, sir. Good to see you. It's a small world. This is my. Oh, 
old stuff. Some places have changed around. This guy's everywhere. Bump into this guy all the time. I actually don't know him, know him. But he's at Scarborough. TRF. He's everywhere, that guy right there. Dead Bob, guys. Tribute, what's up? Original Dead Bob. There we go. At least we're getting the Dead Bob for a moment. I'll take you guys over here. Say, what's up? Dead Bob, the original Dead Bob is gone. The question is, what's blue and white? And there's 45 in the fast lane. There's no license plate every time. In fact, you know what, Arizona? I was giving you a hard time in the past, but I've changed my mind. And now I think, Arizona, we do need to build a wall along our northern border. Before the rest of these lefts are sucking freckle farm and Scandinavians moving down here. You guys don't know this because you're too young to remember, but it used to be legal to hunt snowbirds in the fall. Yeah, you never hunt snowbirds in the spring. Because in the spring, well, that's when the snowbirds take And nobody wants to see that. So here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. So hard to talk when you're walking around. It's like you're talking to yourself. We're gonna go back towards the jousting arena. It's kind of quiet back here in the back. I wanted to run back here and then go towards the front where the people get back here. is always here. My lord! Gritchels. You guys want to get some awesome leather good? My ex loved this place. One of the few things she had good taste in. See if we can find a spot to fire up a cigar here. Let me see. I'm not supposed to smoke in the tent areas. But they can blow me for a minute. I'm gonna fire up a cigar real quick, guys, and we'll get walking some more, check out some more stuff, get inside the shops. I'm trying to give you guys a quick run around to let you guys check it out, and then I'll get into some stores too. I don't know who that is over there, but it's like the death metal of Renaissance Fair music. It's awesome. You hear it? There we go. I'm going to go back over there in just a moment. Let's take a walk around and show you guys some more stuff. Didn't show you the middle section there because I'm going to walk back through it momentarily. Let's get some rounds going. Hey, my lord. Got some camels, no elephants, sir. Good day, my lady. Last 
winch, which is everywhere. Oh, there's my guy. I wonder if he's here over here. I don't see him. There's the magic wand guy. He's kind of moved his spot. I don't see him, though. He's from Colorado City. Take a walk into the jousting arena here. It's empty at the moment. The backdrop of those Superstition Mountains, man. This is probably my favorite arena next to the Texas Renaissance Festival just because of the backdrop. It's awesome. right there. It's absolutely awesome. It's a good size arena too for the fair, you know. I've seen larger fairs with smaller arenas than this. Yeah, take a look at it there.
walking around here, guys. Let me fix the GoPro here, and get it more sturdy. Be back in a second. We'll do it together. So I ran into a friend out here. We're watching the washing well winches. She recognized the Sir Blast from me out here. So how's it going? I am super excited, super happy to be here. There it is, and we're enjoying the washing well wenches, guys. So we're checking stuff out, having a good time. I'm gonna see my girls after the show, and I, I got a new friend while we're out here. We're hanging out, so you guys gotta come out to the Arizona Renaissance Festival this season. Check everything out, have a good time. Super fun! Yes, pleasure to meet you. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, just saw a buddy of mine from uh, Danny Boy Pipes over here. We'll stop by and see him. His name's Brian. If you like pipes, he's at TRF, too, as well. Um, sells great pipes. I'm learning a lot more about this fair as I continue to ask around. This is all off camera, of course, but I'm learning as to why I cannot get in here with my chocolate. So I'm really learning a lot right now talking to my vendor friends. So, yeah, Danny Boy Pipes right there. We'll come see Brian in a little bit. Now let's take you down the other side, which I didn't show you just a minute ago. So let's walk through here. Some daggers, dragon teeth, daggers. Need supplies. Uh, they have milkshakes, almonds, root beer floats, dragon and gluten free pizza. I think I told you guys this last before, the prices here are really good. Yeah, the prices on food is really good here compared to some of the other fairs. You don't really get taken to the cleaners as much here as you do at the other ones. So, and beer prices too are, are a lot more fair. They have went up like a dollar. I noticed that when I bought my beer earlier. Oh yeah, cooking berry cod pieces. I mean, you'll just end up making yourself mad. Yeah. My ass ladies at Scarborough. I think she's a Tierra. I know she's a Scarborough. <laughs> Spin dragons everywhere. Celtic <laughs> Leatherworks. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're a Tierra, I think. shop here. We'll go inside here momentarily guys. Just want to walk you around. Alright, we're going to cut through. Go through this way because I've already shown you guys this area through here. Oh, okay. 
have all of these little areas that you know smoking in here. Fuck that. Some of the places to sit that you're not sitting in front of a booth. Mass drop, hanging challenge. All right. Take a moment. And be right back to you guys here in just a second. Keep walking around here. All right, guys, sitting down, having a cold one and a cigar. Look, got the uh, Scarborough mug. The reason why I have Scarborough mug and not my usual stein is because at TRF, somebody stole my stein. I laid it outside my shop for one second, walked into my shop, walked back out, and it was gone. So I had some thievery this season at TRF. Come on, man. Or better than that. But anyway, yeah, sitting down here, checking it out. The weather's fantastic, man. It's gonna be about 60, 65 degrees right now. Um, just gonna sit here, scroll that around. So let's talk about it, guys, for a second. Let's talk for a moment. So, uh, I need you guys to do me a solid, man. I know some of you will do it like madmen, and some of you may not because you don't know me that well or whatever the case may be, but I need you guys to go to the azrenfest.com and tell them, call, whatever, I need your help. Tell them to accept CB Dragon Sweet Shop and Sir Blasphemy into their Renaissance Fair. Say, we want him there. I don't care if you're in another state, whatever the case may be, do Sir Blasphemy a solid and uh, help bring me into the Renaissance Festival in Arizona. It's my home fair. I live an hour away from this thing, man. And uh, so I need your help. So if you guys would do a solid for me like that, that would be awesome. It goes a long way when the people speak, the fairs respond. So there you go. But so I'm here as a patron. It was tough to get in. Um, the lines were long. I'm not used to that. Uh, you know, I know I'm, I'm sounding like a pampered, spoiled brat right now, but I always go in the back route. I'm always setting up and vending at these fairs. And so it was, it's always strange. I've had to do this at this fair twice now. Come in and uh, I usually, uh, I came in later the last time, so there wasn't a line, so I just kind of walked right in. But this time I was like, holy cow. I was like, so this is what everybody goes through in the morning. So anyway, let's walk around. I'm gonna continue to show you guys the, uh, the walk around of the fair. And then we're gonna go inside um, some of the shops okay guys so be patient they're always there won't always be narrating because I hate talking to myself in front of this camera when there's people standing around me hearing what I'm saying even though I'm broadcasting this all over YouTube but still in the moment they're all looking at you like look at this guy so anyway let's take some more walks around what well, let's take another walk around I swear I've only had one and uh, we'll keep going I'll show you the fair and then uh, we'll go inside some shops, guys. All right, here we go. Look, it is not Scarborough. It is not Scarborough. It is Arizona. That's where we're at. Made it up. I ran into some more Sir Blasphemy friends, man. So you guys at Arizona, you got to let me in the Renaissance Fair so I can give these guys Belgium CBD infused chocolate. That's what I make. These are awesome friends. So what's up, guys? What are you guys up to today at the Renaissance Fair? Just kind of enjoying it. Really That's awesome, man. It's fun. We love it. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad that you guys are here. They recognize me out here. I'm just a fool making videos. And these awesome people came by to say hello. I got more friends today. I'm making friends. Woo! So yeah. please like and subscribe. These guys will tell you and we'll have fun yes. on the journey. Like and subscribe. Yeah. All right. There we go. Do you guys have any social media you want to share? No, no. no. They're like, no, no, no. It's all right. Well, come on out and see us at the Arizona Renaissance Festival. Yes. Sure you guys know these guys, it's Tartanic. I know my friends out there know these cats. Let's go see some Tartanic.
album for those who are into something weird. That's right, after 20 years, this heavenly song of the great Highland Bagpipes, brought to you by Tartanic, we have released a meditation album. I know it sounds weird, but the soothing drones of bagpipes, just ask Bella or Lily McCracken, there's a lot going on between that album and our box set and pissing off your neighbors as we have a policy on piracy. We're in full support. So if you need to share this music with your cheap bastard friends, we don't mind. It's part of our way of getting bike pipes out there. We had a bachelorette party, you know, just in our, in our previous performance here. So you never know what's going to happen. For those curious, Here's what's on the list of Ask a McCracken. Pretty much anything. Pretty much anything. But this year, you're the first to know, except for our morning audience, our concert at the Irish Cultural Center will be on Friday, March 8th. Of course, we have St. Patrick's Day coming up. Friday the 15th will be at the Handlebar. And on the 17th, probably the rodeo again. But stay tuned. Hang out in our lounge behind this stage after the show. So if you need any photographs, autographs, tartanic knuckle tattoos, they're free. Yeah, we use a Sharpie. Yeah, yeah, there are people with needle phobias. So, it, like at the top of the show, that was we were joking about fentanyl. Yeah, yeah, it's not a, just, you know, little tartanic knuckle tats. It's, it's fine. We, we don't want to get started off on something on a road we don't want to come back from this. You made it all the way to the front row. You deserve some fine music. So, to the pirates in the audience, regardless of the weekend theme, we thought we could mash up a little Pirates of the Caribbean set on the I know, I know, this may be... We're not really... Pirates are actually, they can't be sellouts, they're thieves. Yeah, yeah, so it's much better, much better for us to do this on bikes. Live and in 3D. So let's hit it right now. Let's turn off the microphone. Thank goodness.
Wild Men Show. I think the Mud Men are here. All right, guys, what is up? Taking a little break, have a little snack. You know, guys, I gotta, I gotta tell you something. I'm almost overwhelmed. Um, I was in there, man, and and people keep walking up to me. This is kind of new for me. I mean, I've had it happen many times in the past, but not on this level. Especially at a fair that I haven't vended at, and and I've just taken a video or two of in the past. And I've had people walk up just to tell me and thank me for my videos. No, man, thank you. I mean, I'm so humbled by that. I'm just a guy making videos for his business. This is really all this is about, you know, and I'm just humbled. I mean, you'll see some of them in the video or another video or whatever the case may be, however I edit these videos out. But I can't believe that I'm just standing there and people are walking up to me, giving me hugs and shaking my hand and going, we love your videos, Sir Blasphemy. Like saying my name and it's just, it's overwhelming guys, thank you. I just, thank you. I, I put these videos together and don't even realize that, that anybody watches them and yet they do. And I'm glad that you guys do, thank you. And uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of work that goes into this and it's a lot of work doing the Renaissance fairs Hang on, man. This guy's about to smack into me. Look at this dude. Look at this guy. Come on, bro. Pull it together on the Mustang. What are you doing, homie? You gotta pull out in driving school 101, dude. All right. Anyway, so uh, I'm just saying, man, I, I just uh, thank you guys, man. It means a lot. There's some people on these videos, and there were some that I just didn't have a chance to pull the video out that like said, hey, sir, blasphemy. I'm like, what? You know, it blows my mind, and so it's really cool to see, and uh, thank you guys. Um, I appreciate it, man. From the bottom of my heart, it's uh, it's humbling. And uh, anyway, anyway, let me get past that, and uh, so we're going to go back into the Texas, or Texas? <laughs> wow, I'm so used to saying that because I work there, right? The Arizona Renaissance Festival, and... Uh, We'll check some things out, have a good time. Let's close out the day. And I don't know how many videos I'm gonna be getting out of this, but uh, maybe one, maybe two, I don't know. But you guys keep enjoying. Let's continue on with the day. Let's have some more fun at the Arizona Renaissance Festival. Thank you guys for who I have met today that were on camera and not on camera. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you for your kind words and the nice things you said. Let's roll on. Then. There's the chocolate. I've tasted chocolate here. It ain't as good as my chocolate. And damn sure ain't Belgian chocolate. So yeah. That is correct. <laughs> All right, let's see Twig over here. Haven't brought you guys over here today. Got the Dragon Tail Tower over here. Little slide. Storybrook Castle. <laughs> 
Twig the Fairy in there. Twig the Fairy's got a hell of a setup here at the Arizona Renaissance Festival. I ain't gonna lie. I've seen her at other places, but she's definitely got a setup here. She's in the back here. Sorry, I was hitting a cigar. My apologies. That. You can kind of see her in the back. Pretty much, guys, I've showed you just about everything, man. Try to get you guys a last little look here for the day. Guys have already seen stuff, man. Gonna take a preview break. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, we've got the queen at the table over there waving to her subordinates. Here we are. There she is, the queen of the Arizona Renaissance. Festival. Well, guys, I tried to show you some more stuff, man, but uh, I got sidetracked by people I knew and got into a lot of conversations. So I hope I gave you guys enough in this video. I gave you about 85 to 90% of the walk around of the tech, or I'm sorry, geez, of the Arizona Renaissance Festival. And uh, then I just got caught up here at the end of people I knew, I kept running into people. There were people that knew me from the videos that kept chatting with me. I'm so humbled um, as I showed you earlier. Um, I'm just, I'm mystified, man. It's just crazy. I didn't expect to run into that many people that knew my videos. Just a jackass walking around and uh, showing you stuff. So thank you guys for uh, coming up to me and chatting with me, all of you. Um, I, I, I cannot begin to express um, how deep my sincerity is for that. Thank you. Um, but anyway, let me get back on track here and try to end the video here. So anyway, guys, Superstition Mountains. Right this way. Beautiful, beautiful backdrop, man. And uh, guys, this was my first stop at Arizona Renaissance Festival weekend one, the opening weekend in 2024. And I hope you guys enjoyed the walk around. I didn't get to go into stores because I kept running, like I said, I kept running into people that I knew. And uh, I had so many conversations off camera, that's insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I encourage you guys, please like and subscribe. If you don't know me, please tickle that bell for future notifications and uh, comment. I always comment back 100% of the time. So I thank you guys and appreciate you very much. And uh, everybody's kind of, escaping as you guys can see right now and uh thank you all so much man i appreciate it so uh i'm gonna go ahead and cut out and get the road home going man so i hope i gave you guys enough to where you could enjoy it so uh until next time sir blasphemy out